have a secret to tell you about the Apostle Paul. This is a really great secret. Come a little closer, right in here. Are you ready? Do you remember Paul? Paul was locked up in a prison, chained to a Roman guard. His life was not going like he had planned. Have you ever felt like that? Like your life isn't going how you planned? Maybe this stay-at-home order has really thrown you off your education, your baseball season, your hangout time with friends, or even your summer plans. I am sure Paul's imprisonment was equally as tough, if not more so. While Paul was in prison, his friend, Epaphroditus, showed up all the way from Philippi to bring Paul money and supplies from the church in Philippi. Their gift was probably better than a birthday present, better than a trip to Disneyland, better than the new Zombie Army 4 game. In his hardship, Paul was remembered and cared for by the Philippians. Have you ever had anyone remember you during hard times? Maybe you received a card in the mail or a note from a teacher. Maybe a friend drove all the way to your house to give you a hug or a neighbor brought you chocolate chip cookies. It's nice to be remembered when life is tough. Paul was so grateful that the Philippians remembered and cared for him. You know what is interesting though? While Paul was grateful for the Philippians' generosity, what mattered most was the secret Paul learned in being content. Let's read about the end of Paul's thank you note letter to discover the secret. This is Philippians chapter four, starting at verse 10. I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I'm not saying this because I am in need, for I've learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need. I know what it is to have plenty. I've learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Did you hear the secret? I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. We can be content in any circumstance because when we have Christ, we have everything. Jesus gave Paul strength as Paul trusted Jesus. God brought encouragement from the Philippian church. And we know from Paul's own letter that God gave Paul joy, peace, contentment, and even blessed the work of Paul's hands while Paul was in chains in a Roman prison. Paul knew he could be content in any circumstance because when he had Christ, he had everything. I have a friend named Max. Max was born with a rare heart defect. At age 15, Max has already endured 13 heart surgeries and has had four pacemakers. Despite these challenges, he refuses to let anything slow him down. As a freshman in high school, he's active in theater and on the baseball team. And you may recognize him from the 2011 Volkswagen Super Bowl commercial as Little Darth Vader. When Max had his last surgery, he sent his blue plastic wristbands to wear as a reminder to pray. The wristband said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Max had no idea if his surgery would work but he knew God would hold him close and strengthen him, even if the outcome wasn't perfect. Max has learned the same secret as Paul. Max can be content in any circumstance because Max knows that when he has Christ, he has everything. God doesn't promise a life free of hunger or suffering or danger, but God promises us that if we belong to Jesus, Jesus will be with us and strengthen us. We can be content in any circumstance because when we have Christ, we have everything. The secret to contentment is trusting in Jesus. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for supplying my every need, even strengthening me to be content in hard times. Help me to trust you more today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. See you guys next week. Bye.